cable, you have a wide choice of what to watch. And do you ever find yourself, as I know a lot of people do, switching from channel to channel. Mostly men. To see what is out there. You always have the feeling that whatever you're watching, <laughs> it's not as good as something else that's all, it's there. You know? Well, one of those stations you've probably come across as you were flipping up and down the dial is ACTV, the public access channel. And that's where we find our Peg Brody tonight. And Peg, is this the place where anyone can go to make TV? Yeah, it's open to anyone or any organization, Colleen and Doug. And it doesn't really look like you'd find a TV studio here, but actually, Community Access, Public Access TV shares an office with the insurance company, Mike Miller Insurance. Um, they produced about 2,300 uh, local programs last year. They uh, have a complete editing suite. You can see Nadine is in here. She's working on a uh, kids' wrap down there. They have editing suites. They have equipment. And then down here, this is where the, uh, the shows are actually put together, the ones in the studio. And what's neat about public access television is that anybody can come here and do a show. And all you need to do is just have a creative idea, something you want to come up with. Um, and also, I think if you have some subject that you feel like talking about, whether it's religious or uh, something that's kind of controversial, this is the place you can do it. And when we come back in just a little bit, we're going to show you and tell you about three things that cannot go on the air here. And they're things that, one or two of the things are things that we put on Channel 4. Is that right? But they don't allow them there, huh? Nope, don't allow them here. Huh. Is it you? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. no, but I do have a little surprise to show you of something I did here a few years back. And uh, Steve Wayne, for our videographer tonight, also did a show here as well. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, okay. Peg. Thanks, Thank Peg. All right. And we will be uh, right back. Up tonight, but the show is in capable hands. Peg Brody's at our live location this evening. ACTV, and you better explain exactly what that means, Peggy. Well, ACTV stands for Access Columbus Television. Okay. And it's exactly what it what it says, uh, or what we talked about a little bit earlier. This is a free public access. Anybody who wants to make a TV show or any organization can just come down here. All they have to do is take an orientation program on a Tuesday night at 5.30 in the evening. Sorry, they'll have to miss your show, Gail. And, uh, and whoops, excuse me. And it's absolutely free. So come on in here. We, this is the director right here, and he's working on a show that's going to be going on, uh, I guess the show goes on when? In about a month about, or so? About three weeks. In about, about three, three weeks? weeks. Okay. And this is the studio. And, Gail, this is an old converted garage. They share this building with an insurance company. This is an old converted garage. And the uh, director here, Carl Kucharski, uh, people who don't have technical skills, and let's say they don't know how, or maybe they don't want to learn how to use a camera, they can still pr produce their own show? We've got about 200 volunteers that have been trained by us. And uh, all you need to do is contact the staff, and we can help you line up some volunteers and uh, get your program on either here in the studio or in the field uh, without anybody taking any training whatsoever. Hey, Peg? Yeah, yeah. is this required by law? This is required by law? Is this, Carl? Well, not exactly. It's required by city law, but there's no federal law requires public access channels. At the moment, we're trying to get that done. You all recently won an award, true? Last year, we were uh, named by our national association as the number one public access facility in the country. That's got to make you feel good. We were, we were thrilled. The community and all the people that have produced programs down here and volunteered for a long time were absolutely just f uh, fantastic in winning that award. Well, Peg, isn't that what Wayne's World is all about? I think so. <laughs> I didn't see the movie, but I think, I think, I think exactly. That's the right. They put on about 15 to 16 hours of programming a day here. And earlier I mentioned there are three things that they can do on TV here that we can't, or well, you can't do on TV here, right? You don't allow commercials. Any, um, any lottery numbers and obscenities, right. correct? And I, I do want to ask you a little bit about this because it is kind of controversial here. Sometimes you put on the more controversial shows. What kinds of things can't go on? Well, anything that is not necessarily um, uh, allowed by the Constitution. I mean, anything that is illegal cannot play here. So nudity? N yeah, nudity. And what about bad words and things like that? Well, that depends. I mean, if a court were to find uh, bad words could not play, then they would not play here. Okay, all So right. what's currently taping there, Peg? Right now, what are you taping here? Right now, we're just setting up for a little news show that we're going to try and shoot. Okay, and they don't have prompters like we do, Gail. But when we come back, we'll show you the editing facilities, and I want to show you um, something that I did here on ACTV once, and I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, good. Well, if you're embarrassed, Peg, all the more fun this will be. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll see you. Thanks. Okay. And when we come back, the best of ACTV, including Peg Brody.
ask you, high-tech woman, do you understand your VCR at all? You know, when I lived by myself and I had my little VCR, I could set it. I could program it. When I got married and started using my husband's VCR, uh -huh. well, he has seven remote controls. I don't even know how to turn the television on. It's awful. Well, it's that's awful. a little different. Oh, I know. He's a gadget I nut, I he think. He is definitely a gadget nut. Gail, I told you earlier that I did a little show here on, on, uh, at ACTV before I started being a reporter, and I'm just going to push play here. Take a listen. What year? A couple what years ago. You here at this Four hour. years ago. You know what brings me here, <laughs> you pig. As much as I hate to do it, the people of Columbus say I should pay you to save face. Thanks a lot. Anyway, here it is. Five hundred thou in small, unmarked bills. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Yeah, well, I have that little country accent come from Texas and all. <laughs> anyway, Breck right here is working on some animation, and um, that's one of the programs here that they have that is available to anybody for free. Breck, you don't have to sign up, but you get, you learn, you teach the folks, or how do you learn this I stuff? teach. You teach. And it, Actually, I'm the production coordinator here, but one of the things I do is I teach classes in uh, various aspects of production. And then once you learn how to use this equipment, it's not free to use, I mean, it's between, what, 5 and $35 to learn how to edit? Or not to learn how to edit, but to use the equipment, I think. Well, we're $8 an hour in here. Uh, no, $12 reasonable. an hour because it's multi-format. It sounds real reasonable. And this part, Gail, I think is really nice in that if you volunteer to help, like in the studio where we just were, Correct. you can actually earn hours. So therefore, you don't have to even pay to use the equipment. Oh. So volunteer to help somebody else and then you get to work for free. So that's kind of a nice deal. Do they have very many interested people? I'm wondering how many would take the time to go down there and learn. You know, how many people showed up last year for the class? Was it like 15,000 or something like that, Breck? No, no. Not 15, more like 1,500. 1,500. Well, that's pretty good. That that's is. pretty good. And then you figure they put on about 2,300. Let's move on back here. They put on about 2,300 shows. And uh, I, I like that idea that this is open to the public. It's your forum. If you have something to say, you can come down here. And you don't have to use all the equipment. They're waving me back. Move back. Move back. Okay, I'm going back. Oh, I forgot. We could throw to the package. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> oh, let's see. Okay, here's an idea of some of the different things that you can see on ACTV. We want all of our brothers to understand Making babies will not make you a man Educate your mind Instead of doing crime Take your time You won't be sorry Respect yourself Number one in infant mortality in the developed countries We are number one in handgun killing We thought perhaps we were going to do a dual thing today, and that is to talk, first of all, about women. We're going to talk about our age. We're going to talk about our blackness. She is to die for. Over the last 15 years, you know, we've seen enormous change in the gay and lesbian community. We've seen the emergence of a gay and lesbian, a new kind of gay and lesbian politics. This will give them some idea about what we saw. <laughs> I know the fans back in Columbus are excited about getting you back in the seat of the True Sports IndyCar. This is a great way to tell them you're ready. Well, thanks. It's a great way to get started for the whole season. How old are you, Ivory? How many is that? Two. No, you're not two anymore. You had a birthday, right? Millions of... This is just a kid's rap that Nadine is working on right now. Nadine, how long have you been producing here? About four years now. Yeah. And why, why did you decide to come down? Uh, I was writing and producing a play for my church, and I saw how they did it and decided that I wanted to be involved myself, and now I'm an award-winning producer. All right, that's great. That's great. And when we come back, we'll show you some of the gear, some of the cameras, and, uh, and we'll also show you Steve's work. Oh, is Steve there on camera with you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember this. This ought to be good. <laughs> Thanks, We'll Peg. be back. Up next, the 90s might be known as the drive through decade. We'll explain next. Kings of laughter, silver.
with sunshine, wild fantastic times galore. Starry nights and crazy rides and posies, pies, and so much more. It's an everlasting blast, so make sure you're gonna come to the Ohio State Fair. 17 days of never ending fun. Don't miss the fair, don't miss the fun. For information, call 1 800 Buckeye. New trend at the St. Paul Ballpark, and the fans have started showing up for games wearing cone heads. I wonder if this will catch on at the Clippers. Peg Brody's been spending the evening at the public cable station, ACTV, and public access means just that, right, Peg? Anyone can come and have access to the studios. It's open to everybody. You get four hours of uh, free studio time if you want to come down. What's the first thing you do if you decide you don't want to shoot a show in the studio? Well, you need to learn about the cameras. These cameras you can check out for just $15 for 24 hours, which is kind of a nice deal. $50 deposit. Benita, or use your own home camcorder, correct? You could use your own home camcorder, camcorder couldn't you, Benita? Sure, yeah, you can use your, your own um, camcorder and come in and dub it and transfer it, then use our editing suites to edit your material. But I don't think the quality would be nearly as good as some of the, um, the like this camera right. right here that you have. Benita Makuch is the training coordinator here at ACTV. So someone comes in, they say, I want to make a TV show. What do they do? Um, well, they can, after they take orientation, they can sign up for a class. And um, they can either take a studio class or they can take a field and editing class where they then have access to these, um, these really nice cameras, these professional cameras. Well, Peg, there's a lot of nice equipment there, so who pays for all this? Well, actually, we do. We pay for it. You were telling me just the other day that a dollar from your cable bill for one whole year goes for paying for the employees and for the use of cable access television, Ah, right? gotcha. That's right. Our budget comes from um, part of the cable fee that you pay. It's actually only turns out to be about a dollar a year. And if people want to keep, keep the show on the air or keep public access on TV, because there's always the chance that it could go off the air, they suggest that you contact City Hall. It's time. Let's see Steve Wayne Ford. It's, it's time. It's time. Here we go. Um, push play. This is a show he produced a couple years ago, right, Steve? It's a sports show by Steve Wainfor, <laughs> Mr. Sports. He is. He's our resident athlete at Channel 4. Steve, you should keep it up there. I mean, you should be very proud of your work. If you want to come down here, they're on Oak Street. The number to call is 224-2288. And you can come in, you can take the orientation class tomorrow night, and you can put on your own show. Hey, are you going to be doing any more? For Am I? Oh, no, I don't think I'll do any in the near future, but Gail, they're competition. I mean, some of those people out there could be competition for your show. I know, I know. Yeah. Hey, thanks for showing us around, Peggy. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us. News Sports 6 is next.